Trump will meet with the Palestinian leader Abbas in about an hour from now. David Rubin joins us now. He is the former mayor of Shiloh, Israel. David, thanks for joining us. My pleasure. What are your initial thoughts about this meeting? Well, we know that the meeting was going to happen. Uh, the, the problem with, the, with Trump uh, meeting Abbas and, and talking about a peace process is that we've been doing this for about 30 years now. And uh, Mahmoud Abbas uh, has been paying terrorists to, to perform terrorist attacks against Israelis. Every single terrorist that, that commits a terrorist attack against an Israeli uh, gets, gets thousands of dollars. And, uh, you know, if he's, if he's not alive, if he dies in the terrorist attack, uh, so, uh, so his family gets thousands right. of dollars. Right. Uh, this has been going on for years, and uh, no one holds them to it. Well, President uh, Trump, so, though, has already so, said this is going to be one of his major talking points. That this, hey, if we're talking about steps to ultimately solving the issues that have, have, have dogged the region for, for decades, and many, many American presidents, it begins with Palestine, Palestine no longer making those payments now. On the other end, Abbas is going to come in and say, hey, if there's ever a Palestinian state, we want East Jerusalem to be its capital. Would you be okay with that? Absolutely. Yeah, he absolutely will say that and has said that and will continue to say it. And that's why it's a non-starter. Uh, but pres President Trump is kind of going in the right direction because he's making it clear that, that the first priority is to stand with Israel, that Israel is an ally of the United States, a very strong ally of the United States, and that, that anything, any, any sort of negotiations have to have that clear understanding. Now, President Trump is coming to Israel, uh, supposedly on May 22nd, which is the day before Jerusalem Day, which is when Israel celebrates the reunification of Jerusalem uh, after the Six-Day War in 1967. Uh, so it seems pretty clear to me that uh, that that he wouldn't be coming the day before Jerusalem Day right. if he wasn't coming to declare uh, to recognize Jerusalem as Israel's undivided capital. I think that's a step in the right direction. Okay, David. I also want to ask you about this. The Wall Street Journal says that the terror group Hamas changing its stance towards Israel. I want to give you the headline here: Hamas drops calls for Israel's destruction. Are you buying that? <laughs> uh, no, not at all. Uh, you know, we, we've seen the, these uh, nuances in, in the way that they, they craft their public statements uh, for a long time. Uh, what, you, what you need to do is take a look at what they said afterwards in, in Arabic to their own people, uh, which is that they're, they're still committed to Israel's destruction, that there will be no negotiation with Israel. And, you know, I, I just want to remind uh, the viewers that Hamas and Fatah, which is Mahmoud Abbas's terrorist organization, the two of them are, are joined by the hip in the Palestinian Authority. And even though they have their disagreements between each other, the Palestinian Authority is an equal opportunity employer. It gives the same thousands of dollars to Hamas terrorists uh, as it does to Fatah terrorists. So I, I think we have to keep that in mind when we're talking about negotiating with terrorists, right. Right. Uh, that, that that is indeed what is happening. We, right. we have a, a diplomat coming to Washington. Uh, he wears nice suits. Uh, but the, the bottom line is that he is an arch terrorist. Uh, Fatah, Hamas. They're all in the same boat. Well, you know, everyone knows that it's, it's a long shot, uh, but I think to your point, President Trump making the attempt. We know he's not going to dither. He, he's not. He's going to be pretty strong, and uh, he's going to represent our ally, which is Israel. David Rubin, thank you very much. We really appreciate yes. it.